Hello and welcome to another video. This time I'm here with a fire loadout. I've got this bow, these maces, and they look really cool because they're rare and not legendary. Just kidding, they, they look pretty cool if they're rare or legendary, but as you can see, this is rare. It's the blue outline rather than the purple outline and it's got that fire damage, critical damage, elite damage doesn't really matter, uh, actually in tier 6 it, it might, so this is one of my best bows I would say, even though the damage is a little lower than say like the 70s, we got the 60, that's okay though, uh, it doesn't change too much, and then I've got these maces here, which one of them is a fire and slowing, really high damage because that's what maces are, and we've got this one, which is fire and critical. Uh, both slowing and critical are really good, so it's awesome that I've got that. It would be cool if they had uh, two traits or perks instead of one perk, but hey, what can you do? Uh, it looks <laughs> it looks pretty darn cool uh, to have this full fire loadout without the legendary purple tint on those weapons. It's just that red tint. So. Yeah, there we go. I've also got the Exo perk of Might, increasing the throwing damage by 100%. I figure I'm going to be doing a lot of throwing these two weapons and then just grabbing them and finishing off whatever enemies I got to finish off, uh, as well as maybe uh, hitting up my bow here and there to uh, kill whatever I need to. But yeah, I've got the Fortune perk, Vitality, and Haste, um, and I'm going to get right to it. Here we go. All right, and I think um, I, okay, well, uh, let me choose my map first before I ramble on. Uh, 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 I'm thinking Underworld. I like the Underworld. Let's do, hmm, that one's got some fairly big rooms, I think, but less rooms than this one. Um, but this one's more straightforward, I think. I go take every left. Nah, just basically go to the side rooms for every big room, I guess. I'll try this one. We'll see how it goes. And, oh, whoops. Accidentally touched that joystick. Whee! Oh, I missed. Right controller battery low. I don't know if you see that pop up in the recording, but hopefully my uh, right battery doesn't die in the middle of this dungeon run. But we will see. We will see. All right, now, um, yeah, so I was saying that my recording setup is basically perfected now. Ooh, uh-oh, I gotta kill that, and okay, there we go. Huh, yeah, I thought I hit that bat there, but I didn't. I don't think there's a key in there, so I wouldn't be able to open the chest after using this key to open the door. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. So, I'm going to just go forward then and see what's in here. Also, that's just a coin room. There could be a map, but there could be a map anywhere. So, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, so my, my recording setup, I think, is finally near perfected. Oh, and I think I think those guys are one-hit kills when I hit them with the uh, fire. When they, when they get exploded by the fire, at least. Oh, give me that, give me that. There we go. Yeah, one hit kills when the fire damage happens. That's why fire is so good in my opinion. I think I also just got hit. There he was slowed. I got hit by the, the scythe after it hit the ground or something. I don't even know. Okay, this is a bow situation. Alright, come on, dude. Oh, man. He is, he's dodging everything. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I couldn't even really see him, but... I got him anyway. All right, and then um, get some gold over here while I talk about my recording setup. So <laughs> I finally got the mod mic. Uh, I think I mentioned it in another video, but um, I had a mod mic, and it basically had a little bit of rattling in it. <sighs> you might have been able to hear in my previous videos this rattling noise. Uh oh, Ooh. yeah, good thing I hit that guy. All right, get out of here. Kill that spider real quick. Nope. There we go. All right. Open this. But yeah, the mod mic had a rattling noise, so I had to send it back to the factory. Uh, well, I did like a little trade thing where they sent me one and made sure it was good. No rattling noise. And then... Oh, come on. There we go. 
I actually don't know which way. I think I, yeah, I see the skeleton key over here though. Um, but yeah, so now I got a a mod mic without the rattling noise. Okay, I, I gotta go to the other rooms first, so I gotta backtrack after I kill these guys. Um, whatever. Oh, there we go. And what do we got? Purple dudes. <laughs> Oop. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I thought I killed that guy. Guess I just knocked him down like that. And kill that guy. One hit kill. Nice stuff. What do we got? Oh. Oops. <laughs> kill this. Oh my. Had a little lag spike there. Oh. Huh. Yeah, so <laughs> I think the blunt weapons for some reason just do significantly less damage um, to the imps. Could be wrong about that, but that's what it feels like at least. Maybe it's just that the imps are tanky no matter what weapons you have, but it seems to be uh, seems to be particularly maces. Oh, no, that's not good. There we go. Oh, get away. Oops. Thought I brought my weapon back. There we go. Goodbye. And wow, I thought I took a lot more damage, but I guess ice enemies don't do too much damage, so when you're frozen and they keep hitting you, it doesn't really do much. Also, that was <laughs> that was a little bit of a shortcut. Usually, uh, I, I have haste, so it, it worked easily to do that little parkour thing off the side. Um, but most players without haste, maybe not most, but some players without haste, beginners, will have to go down here. I'll show the way out. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Accidentally grabbed gold instead of the rope. But you can see, you got to drop down from there. <laughs> Actually, I can't get up there that way, so I got to go around. But yeah, you would just go this way and down there. So, All right, and I was going to go back, and then I was thinking about parkouring over here, but I probably would have killed myself. Um, some more guys. Oh, man, yeah, they're so tanky, man. So tanky. Give me that key. Fantastic. Whew. Good, good. More dudes. <laughs> oh, wow. I almost got hit by that. <laughs> nice. The ricochet. Well, it wasn't a ricochet. It was hit one and then I retrieved it. While it was getting retrieved, I killed him. All right, what do I have? Four keys, that's that's pretty good, pretty good. Now, this room. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Man, yeah, he's a very dodgy guy. <laughs> Missed the first guy, hit the second. That's fantastic. Come on. There we go. And lever down. Ka-ching. Get some gold. Yeah, man, I love playing with two maces. Just being able to throw the mace, retrieve the mace, ricochet, melee. It's fantastic stuff. Okay, crossbow. I don't give a... I don't, I don't care about the crossbows. Um, all right. So... Ha <laughs> ha One thing I've... Oh! Pfft. That was kind of silly. <laughs> See, in the uh, the Tier 7 difficulty that's about to come out... Actually, I think I go this way. Tier 7 difficulty, I would have been done for. Oh. Oh, it spawned me on the other side. Yeah, it does that, and I didn't even notice. Um, but yeah, so Tier 7 difficulty, I think they're calling it Nightmare Mode, is going to come out, and that won't have... A second chance which I don't know if getting killed by obstacles gives you a second chance or if it just respawns you and that won't and it'll still happen like I don't, I don't know for sure if that's gonna continue happening oh come on there we go oh wow <laughs> killed him because of the fire explosion damage where are these guys there's one up here yeah <laughs> he hit me in a corner but I hit him back there we go. And yeah, so 
I mean, I'm I'm super excited for Nightmare Mode, uh, among other things like the two-handed sword. Two-handed sword is gonna be so much nicer than the uh, the ballista. Oh my goodness, the uh, crossbow. I'd rather get the back weapon because it's gonna be a back weapon rather than it's not gonna be on the sides on the back. So I'd rather have a melee weapon back here and then maybe like daggers down here or just mini crossbows or something also I think I can go this way nope that's blocked off so I gotta go this way all right uh, 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 uh. give me that key no I can't get it from there we got zombie and <laughs> oh yeah see that is why I do not like auto aim because I can't predict where I'm gonna throw it I can't throw it down at the enemy because this is me throwing it without auto aim I can throw it down I can throw it high I can throw it in the middle low but when it's auto aimed and a spider is coming down when I throw it it goes right directly where the spider is but the spider goes down as the weapon goes straight so bit of a predicament that I do not enjoy and in fact I do hope that auto aim is taken off on nightmare mode as well because um, that would make it harder, but at the same time easier in situations like that. But here we go. It's probably going to be harder to get those snipes across the room when the enemy's coming directly towards you. But, yeah. Ooh, I got the volume really loud, so there. <laughs> I'm just like testing if there's an echo in the, uh, in the recording. So, when I do uh, multiplayer... I won't have to have as many problems. Oh, wow. What in the... Oh. <laughs> what do we got? Dude over here. Good, good. Oh, wow. I could have just, like, kept that going, but I didn't. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, dodging me. Man. These guys are dodgy. There we go. And mage guy. I gave him time to spawn his minions. Oh, oh, and again. He's spawning his minions right away. There we go. This time, not giving him a chance. Oh, this guy got up. Oh, ow. <laughs> nice. Good, good. Okay. We have defeated the boss and put the batteries in. Fantastic. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Recently, I there's a a player Dan who mentioned in my last video, Soul Harvest, that uh, Soul Harvest with two other guys. But he mentioned in the comments that we could have gotten unlimited souls by letting that mage guy, the sorcerer, necromancer guy, summoner, I guess, uh, if you let him just keep summoning and not killing him, you can just keep getting souls. Interesting, but probably not super efficient. It's probably better to just go into a new game and collect more souls than wait for that guy to keep bringing them up. Also a little bit risky if you actually die from it, but not that when you're level 50, it's too difficult there. But yeah, that was, that was a fun run. Um, cool thing is that these weapons are fun and very strong not cool thing is that it did not count the kills where I killed them with fire so a lot of those imp kills and zombie kills basically anything where the explosion happened that didn't actually give me a kill uh, I've showed it in other videos I could have like looked at my kills when that happened and just shown that like it didn't go up a notch but yeah if you're trying to farm kills and actually increase on this leaderboard over here uh, to get higher, you don't want to use fire weapons, unfortunately, even though they're <laughs> they're super fun and super strong. And, uh, it just doesn't get you there. So all those people probably don't use many fire weapons. Um, and yeah, that's that's the guy Dan who gives those gives those tips. He's the man. Had a video with him the, the other uh, I don't even know what it was, dungeon run or something, before I uploaded that review video. But yeah, Dan, he's up there. Number four, number one. He's He's been number one for quite a bit. 300 more than H. Oh, and H is also a, a good friend of mine. That That's pretty cool to see. And then 
yeah, H down here as well. This is like the only leaderboard Dan's not on the uh, Soul Harvest. Is he on this one? Yeah, he is. On kills. Oh, total kills and gold collected. He's not on gold collected. Protagonist though. That's the uh, guy who's hosted host the wiki, and I had him in that last video. Mystic Marvel doesn't even play anymore, but he's still on leaderboards. It's impressive, and uh, yeah, it's good to see all these people it's doing well, and me down here in the hundreds. Yeah, but hope you enjoyed the video, and I will probably, uh, you know what? Actually, the next video I'm thinking about doing a. Um, interview type video or like a discussion type where I just sit down right here and talk well actually I'd probably sit here and then the other guy would sit over there and we just talk about something and I would have uh, like a spectator cam basically just me my character in another quest headset that's looking at us well this quest headset I'd be in another quest headset but it would be looking and recording us as we discuss and yeah, hopefully that'll be a, a cool little experience. I'll see how it actually works. But I wish there was a spectator cam actually added to the game. So I didn't have to go <laughs> do that workaround kind of thing. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.